Well, Matthew came to me when he was the summer between his eighth grade and his freshman year with this kind of crazy idea that he had had after he had seen his brother being uh, bullied over texts and how badly he was feeling about himself. He came to me with this idea that he had um, to do a program that would create that empathy and that awareness of this power. And I kind of said to him, you know, ask the school if they'll let you do it and run with it. And I really gave him the green light to go ahead and he spent that entire summer creating the B1 project and it has grown exponentially from there. So the B1 project is an interactive day of games and activities in large and small groups. It's a community building and anti-bullying program specifically for middle school students. You know a lot of programs out there focus on high school students but the B1 Project believes that by high school, it's already too late, that bullying behavior has become habit. So that's why we are unique in that we focus only on middle school students. Well, bullying is an increasingly prevalent issue in our society. It's one that's so often unaddressed by school faculty and administration. I mean, there's something like 3.2 million students every year that are bullied. And that number in and of itself I hope would make anyone think that this is an important issue. But I'm really struck by the way that Matthew came up with an answer to a question that nobody really was asking, and that is, you know, how do you create an awareness at a time when kids are starting to have their own social media accounts and they're starting to have social interactions that are completely autonomous from their parents and their teachers? And how do you create an awareness and an empathy of how powerful that they are and um, you know, how will they use that power, whether they will use that power to uh, build their peers up or to tear their peers down. So since our like, kind of inception in 2011, the B1 Project has done over a thousand students. We're currently in three states and we're continuing to expand across Arizona and across the United States. So I'm really, really proud that we're kind of continuing to grow and to reach middle school students around the nation. I'm spe I mean, I'm speechless. It's an incredible honor. There, I'm just so grateful to have been recognized alongside such amazing organizations and individuals doing awesome work in Arizona. And to be kind of a volunteer for youth and to be maybe a role model for others is amazing. I never would have thought a few years ago that I would be where I am today, but I'm so grateful to be where I am. I would have to say empathy. Um, I recognize that I'm very grateful to have you know, a roof over my head, to have food on my table, to go to a school where I feel safe and accepted. But I know that not everyone has that, that there are 160,000 kids every day that skip school for fear of being bullied. And so to me, it's really important to, with volunteerism to be able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and to recognize where they're at. And then from there, to find a way, anyway, to make a difference.